My name is Bailey Chihan, and I'm a multimedia journalist studying at the University of Iowa. I'm set to graduate in December 2021. Here's some of the work that I've completed for my multimedia news classes in Daily Iowan TV. Empty chairs line the walls of bridal boutiques circle the date as COVID-19 threatens the future of public gatherings. It's hard to tell, but it's prom season at Circle the Date. A lot of the tuxedo boys are coming in, but a lot of the dresses are sold in March and April. Schools in the area have transitioned to online classes for the rest of the school year. This has left many worried about the future of high school's fanciest rite of passage, prom. It's not like obviously the, uh, the biggest loss in the world to not have events like prom, but it is a little bit sad because I have already gotten my dress, I've gotten alterations, things are ready to go, and it was something I was really looking forward to, to have like a last, a last dance with all of my friends. Canceled proms are of great concern to circle a date as 60% of their sales during the season come from prom sales. We have not had any returns for dresses, but for tuxedo rentals, we have had um, a few people call and talk about that since the prom has been postponed with no date yet. After closing schools statewide, Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers has mandated the closure of non-essential businesses. This means Circle the Date is closed until further notice. Now Kilty is worried for brides and grooms celebrating this summer. Some things take four months to get to us. So it may seem day-to-day -day shopping people are doing it and people don't understand why they're doing that, but brides and mothers and bridesmaids still have a timeline that they have to get to. The Circle the Date staff is eager to reopen so they can help each of their customers look their best on their special day, whenever that gets postponed. From Marshfield, Wisconsin, Bailey Chihan, Daily Iowan TV. As that student said, there's a lot of concern as to how hands-on classes will transition to online classes. That means science labs and art classes. Students are also concerned about the University of Iowa following in the footsteps of Grinnell College. Earlier this week, Grinnell announced that they would be transitioning all of their classes online for the remainder of the semester. Students were also required to move out of the dorms. Now, that's not the University of Iowa's plan, but there is concern about whether commencement ceremonies will happen this spring. There's also concern about a potential campus shutdown. Students with on-campus jobs and work-study packages are concerned how they're going to make money to pay their rent. So cute. <laughs> the wind is perfect again here right now. For Lo Janoska and Elizabeth Wickham, this is just another day at the office. Do you want portrait mode or normal? Um, this is the life of a campus influencer. Influencers aim to become the best friends of their audience. We know through research that 90% of people, trust peers, and trendsetters uh, to make their purchase decision. For brands, increasing awareness can be as simple as someone taking a selfie. But does it actually work? Influencer marketing content drives 11 times higher return on investment than traditional marketing. The benefits don't just help brands. You're helping that company, but also helping build your resume. Both Janoska and Wickham said that their influencer status has helped them gain skills for their future careers in social media. You kind of have to be a jack of all trades. But just like their phone batteries, social media can drain the influencer. I definitely feel like I need a social media detox at times. Influencer culture takes a toll on the audience and the people behind the posts. You can sometimes get in a space where like, is everybody trying to sell me something? But the perks are worth it. The recognition from like such a big brand is like something that I would not have experienced if I didn't do this. Janoska and Wickham say that their families are their biggest fans. I don't think they really understood what I was doing at first and then when I got on the like Victoria's Secret Pink Instagram they were like oh this is what you're doing and they were kind of like hyped to see me on an account with like such a big following. Life as an influencer is fast paced but at least they'll have the photos for the memories. From the University of Iowa, Bailey Chihan, Daily Iowan TV. Hey Hawkeyes, my name is Bailey and I'm a second year student at the University of Iowa. This fall, Iowa welcomed its most academically accomplished class in its history for the third year in a row. Follow along as we learn more about the class of 2023. The class of 2023 comes to Iowa from all over the world, including nearly every county in Iowa and most states in the U.S. Our international students represent 37 different countries. There are almost 5,000 students in the class of 2023, and we are so glad that they are a part of the Hawkeye family. Swipe up to learn more about this impressive class. 
Hey Hawkeyes, my name is Bailey and I'm a sophomore at the University of Iowa. Today we are officially welcoming the class of 2023 at our annual convocation. Students just received their tassels. It represents their commitment to achieving their academic goals. It's time to celebrate the start of the school year at the President's Block Party. Have a great first day of classes tomorrow. Go home.